<clears throat> Coffee, honey on toast, and some oranges. That's my breakfast. Though today I wanted to quickly um, make a video because I haven't done it for like a month. So I'm feeling very guilty and all the rest of it. Someone in the comments asked me to explain my microtech setup. So I'm just going to quickly do that once I've done my breakfast. See ya. So essentially, this is still my microtech setup. Sorry, I'm talking to the camera. Fiber coming in this yellow cable, which um, comes in over here. And the toys, I hope the kids don't mess that up for me. I got a screen, which I plan to use for a Grafana dashboard, but I'm just using it for, for Google Photos right now. My Nook, I mean, my Pi, my Nook, my NAS, which is now backing up to, to S3. But yeah, you wanted to know about this, didn't you? You wanted to know about my configuration. Oh, I think this one Cat7 runs right down here under this kid-friendly carpet. And here, under this black tape, under my child's bed, around his bed, and into this thing, my other Microtech. The HAP 82, which is just configured as a cap. And that runs into my MacBook Pro and my ThinkPad. My ThinkPad, my ThinkPad has one of these docks now. It's why internet wired through, through one cable. Wow. It's my setup. Jesus Christ almighty. First thing in the morning, first thing in the morning, I'm really happy news. Uh, I wanted to mention that I have a Microtech exporter that logs into my Microtech and exports the stats. And one stat I look at is my TX and RX. And in the last seven days, you can probably see that my, okay, what, unfortunately, there was an update, 65.2, that resets the stats. Oops. But you can see that there's quite a, big rise. So I think I can show you here what was happening. I configured a cloud sync task from my free nest to run at midnight, just as what the hell's it doing? Just as the the my my microtech was configured to uh, update. So here I have a cloud sync task. And I'm now backing up to S3, my 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 free NAS, uh, a couple of terabytes. So so I have a good tab on stuff going in and out of my of my microtech. Ideally, I would have like a like a solar winds type of analysis of my traffic flow, but at least I can see when there's like big jumps and things like that. So. I've now backed up a couple of terabytes to S3, which is life cycled into Glacier. So the Microtech has a a web configuration thing, but I think the easiest way for me to show you my configuration is just to log into my Microtech. And then I do an export hide sensitive. Um, and as you can see, I block a lot of spam advertising sites. So when some pages load, in fact, I can show you here, like, uh, let's say, you could search one, uh, computers or something, whatever. If I, if I click this, this will work, won't work, because I basically block ad services and tracking sites. I mean, that's the idea. So now, obviously, most of my the configuration is filled with that crap. Oh well, what else is worth uh, noti noticing? Uh, I, yeah, I, 
I sometimes use my microtech for sniffing. I have an auto upgrade rule. That's why there was that reset. Uh, I configured it for my time zone. Singapore, if you're in Singapore, hit me up and go for lunch, whatever. <laughs> I have an LCD thing I showed you earlier. Um, what does this mean? Who knows? I I have a happy net setup. That's what it looks like. And this is my firewall. This is all that I had stuff I tried to block. Um, it's my DNS configuration. I think I actually use my my ISP's DNS for the most part. Um, oh, I have some static IP set up for some internal uh, clients. This is just the way the SFP fiber port, port. I have actually a point to point link. It's a little, it's not the same as GPON. So difficult to explain right now as I'm waking up. Um, but, but this is standard stuff, I think. I've got a uh, Capsman configured so that when I attach other Microtech devices in Capo, they're automatically configured and controlled by my Microtech back there. I have DHCP set up. I ha this is the user for Prometheus. This is the user I set up for, for that connects and grabs the stats. Every whatever the scrape interval is. Um, this is how I set up my Wi-Fi. Um, I actually also have Ubiquiti. Um, I usually use Ubiquiti, actually. I don't actually use the, the home lab one, but sometimes my devices don't connect to the Ubiquiti, and they, they actually more reliably connect to the Microtech, no lie. Uh, bonding? Oh, yeah, I, I bond a couple of the ports. This is connected to my FreeNAS, so my FreeNAS is actually, if I go here, uh, where would it be? System? Network? Where would it be? Oh yeah, network here. Yeah. Uh, I've configured a lag, zero. So basically, two one gigabit ports go into my Microtik router. So I, effectively, it's like a two gigabit connection, whatever. Um, you might notice that I only have a one gigabit connection nowadays. To be, I am saving up to buy a house, a home. So I thought I'd save myself a, a couple of hundred dollars a month, and I downgraded to one gigabit. Don't hate, don't hate me, guys. What? I'm sorry. I just realized I've not been recording myself. Now I'm recording myself. Oh god! You see, this is what happens when you don't make a video for some time. You just don't know how to do it anymore. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like the video. Please comment below if you know better. And uh, I'll try and make a better video more frequently into the future. Chill, Pip.